for the final showcase for right now, guys. It's of course Ray Ray's account, which you guys don't remember. Ray Ray was the guy that got the shiny Meliodas. Yeah. But you know what he didn't get? Oh, it has Nimble 2 on it too? But uh, yeah, so Ray has a shiny Meliodas. You know what he didn't get? Unique. So I was thinking that today we're gonna try to get Unique on this showcase for his Heathcliff here, which he has 10,000 kills. So he's trying to get those stat reroll potential rerolls. So we're gonna try to get SSS stats for him first. And then we'll do the showcase for Heathcliff because you guys are always like, Toad, why don't you click showcase the youth before you get damage potentials? Well, we'll do that. Fine, we're doing it. I have no idea what Heathcliff does. I haven't been checking any videos yet. I've just been grinding with my friends here and we've been very depleted because now we're like on hour like nine, I think, or something like that. We're very close to hour nine. But uh, in order to get him, you're going to do the virtual stages just like normal. And then you're going to go to the legend stages and you're going to need uh, six, 12, and 12. So cancel that and you're gonna go over here to the traits and evolve area currently unevoed he's doing 14,818 damage every 8.8 .8 seconds with 17 range on a superior three um not bad i guess let's go ahead and change that real quick by re-rolling his potential so select heathcliff we have six but we're going to do one and we're gonna get an s in three two one Hey, Ray, can I roll your damage? All right, all right. So we decided that we're gonna go ahead and uh, try to transfer the mash that he has. I know you guys are gonna be really upset with this, but he can get another battle pass and he can get another mash and trade it to his account. So it's okay. So right here, the unit we wanna keep is Heathcliff here. And then the unit we're gonna sacrifice is going to be our mash unit here. So mash muscles, we wanna do all of them, honestly, cause they're all a lot better. Transfer, fuse. Okay, we got the attack. That is that is that is what we wanted, honestly. That, that the attack is what we wanted because now it's gonna go up to an S attack. So we got currently A, A minus, A minus, and now we're gonna go ahead and Evo him. So let's go to the Evo area here. Areas, traits, and evolve. La la la. Do, do, do. Alrighty, now we're going over here to the Evo area, and Heathcliff is gonna go from fifteen thousand eight hundred ninety-seven Evo. 15 blue fruits. Wow, you're all set. So your second one. He gets plus 50% attack and Tempest Rush. Uh, okay, that's kind of cool. Evo him, and there he is. Heathcliff Admin. Mythical Superior 3. We get three more regular stat cubes and a perfect cube. And now let's talk to Beerus. Come on, game. Give us at least an S potential. Come on, come on. Oh! So close. And honestly, 17.8%. I think... What was it, 18% is... Yeah, so we got 6%, we got an extra 3% on the SPA and an extra 3% on the range. So honestly, not that. And currently he's doing 24,000 damage on place and that's a unique unit right there, guys. That is a unique unit damage. Let's unequip Asuna here. Let's unequip Kirito. Let's go ahead and bring Speedcar, Oshi, Bulma, you know, the Toad Boy gaining special and Bulma right there. Now, the reason I'm bringing this Bulma is because... Oh, you do, okay. Because we got 15 rerolls and we're gonna get golden for him on his Bulma first. Come on, gang. And then once we're done, we're gonna get unique for him. Okay, if I don't get golden Bulma, I have to get unique for him, okay? There's no debate. <sighs> I love this passive with a burning passion. But, oh wow, look at how cool the unit looks. I can't wait to see what his cosmetic's gonna be like, but uh, let's go ahead and quit our Bulma. Let's, let's bring the different one. And then what do we need? We need uh, Kisuke, Bankai, and then, who am I missing? I guess we can do a Brook too, just so we can see what his full potential is. Let's go ahead and click play. Let's go into this game mode. And once we come back and we showcase this Heathcliff, we're going to come back to the server and roll a hundred times. Yes, you heard that right. But let's go into Nareen for it. Let's see what Heathcliff looks like. I hope he's really good because people have been asking me, Toad, Kirito or Heathcliff? And I literally cannot tell you one or the other because I simply do not know just quite yet. But we're about to find out right now. So I'm really excited. Hope you guys are too. All right. Like usual, time to farm, but we don't have golden farms. We got a Raper farm instead. 
<laughs> All right, Heathcliff on placement is actually really expensive, and he is a cone attacker, which is interesting, I guess. I don't, hmm, interesting. His SP is really low. Oh, there it is. I think I gotta turn the effects settings on a little bit. Graphics modes on manual, so we're good there. Is this low or what? Low quality effects are on. Let's turn it off. Kill effects are on. And then we should just leave it like this. Okay. So attack effects are good right here. Let's see what it looks like. So he does like his shield attack and he like uses the shield to attack the enemy. Not that. Oh, whoops. I'm forgetting the farm. Ah, guys, you gotta tell me that I gotta farm in order to get more money. It's not the Russo kind of money, but uh, yeah, let's, let's get our farms going. Let's get some money. Let's go into a time lapse, and we'll be back when we can start upgrading our Heathcliff admin. But uh, yeah, time lapse, go! We've made enough money, and now we can start upgrading Heathcliff. I think the total you can place is three, so that's why his damage is so high. But then again, his SP is kind of low, so. It makes sense. Let's go ahead and kill these guys, sell this Heathcliff here, and start upgrading our Heathcliff admin here. So first upgrade is quite expensive actually, and Heathcliff himself is an expensive unit. So, But the first upgrade gets him the 60,000 damage every 8.2 seconds. After that, he gets Noble Gust, but as we saw right there, boom, it's the shield attack. It's kind of weird that the attack's in a circle, but it's a cone attack. But here's Noble Gust. It is a circular attack doing 96... Th Why is his damage so high? I know the SPA is kind of low, but his damage is absurdly high, and that's a cool-looking attack, not gonna lie. But upgrade him again, 4,000, and then after that, he gets Ruler Punishment. His SPA is starting to come down, which is great. 7.3, 100 and 37,000 damage with ruler. Whoa, that circle's kind of big too. Huh? All right. Okay, so first he attacks with the shield and then he uses his sword to finish them off, which is pretty cool. Not gonna lie, effects looks nice. It's, it's a nice little looking effect. I love the model for the Heathcliff. Like his model is probably what makes him so amazing. But there we go, smashes into them with the shield, then the sword, upgrade again and again. And then he, wow. Then he gets Tempest Rush. His damage goes up to three. Oh my gosh, that circle's huge. What? That circle's massive. Now I do gotta say, he seems like he's very expensive, but take a look at this. Look at this attack, boom. That's like Garen from League of Legends, if you guys have ever played League of Legends. But um, yeah, upgrade him again. He has another upgrade. What? 458,000 damage every 9.1 seconds with 32.4 range. 60 divided by 9.1 is 6.6, .6, or 6.6, .6, yep, times 458,000 damage. He's doing 3 million DPM times 3. He does a 9 million DPM, guys. His range is average. But his circle AOE is ginormous. You know what this is reminding me of? This is reminding me of uh, a unit that I can't remember anymore. Ah, huh? Diane. It reminds me of Diane from the, uh, what's the name? Seven Deadly Sins update. Does he hit airs? No. So none of the units I've showcased so far hits airs, which is kind of interesting. But guys, nearly half a million damage is quite a lot of damage. Now let's go ahead and get a Kisuke buff going for him as well. So Kisuke and our Brooks, and we can see what he looks like, you know, kind of fully maxed out, I guess. Uh, is it gonna reach? I hope so. Upgrade, 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 upgrade. That's, I mean, I'm scared that he's gonna kill him, but there it is, boom, upgraded. 515,000 damage, and with Kisuke buff, we get every 8.2 seconds. And we do the DPN real quick here. Times 515,000 times three, 11 million DPM. That's a lot of damage. Physical and he's fire. So once again, kind of like the Klein unit, if you have a stage that requires a lot of ice enemies to die fast, 
he would actually be a really good unit to bring along with you. Probably not the best, like people are probably gonna bring Escanor still because he turns into a hybrid, but Heathcliff, long range, lots of damage, very heavy hitter, and honestly, if I had to choose between him and Kirito unique, I don't know just quite yet. Because now I gotta go reroll on Heathcliff and get unique. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, here it is. Select Heathcliff. He has range three. One, two, three. Okay. That that's fine. Now we gotta get the build ducks, so uh yeah. That is one gift. And that is one more gift. If Ray gets a unique on this, we'll be uh, very happy gifting person. <laughs> All right, there we go, 100 rolls, let's go. Let's do this, Heathcliff, let's get unique. Boom, and go. Nimble three, superior one, superior one. Adept, superior one. Godspeed would be fantastic on him, guys, if you get Godspeed. Uh, range one, superior one. Why did this happen? It's, it's it's super early, we're gonna keep going. I'm sorry, I know a lot of you guys are gonna hate me for this, but I have a feeling that Ray's gonna get unique on this unit, because Ray does not have a unique unit yet, and he's level 376, guys. So I think it's about time that I go ahead and change that curse of his and get unique on a unit like Heathcliff here, who would be doing close to like 1.5 million damage per hit. Yeah, that's absurd. Come on, 60 rolls, 63, 62, 61. All right, let's go on a quick little time lapse. I'll be right back. Let's go unique. Let's get it. Let's go, go going crazy right now because we're gonna get unique on Ray Ray's first unit and he's gonna be so happy that he'll never stop bothering me but that's okay superior one number two range one please king just give him the unique I know we should have kept golden I get it but unique is so much better on this unit because it's gonna do so much more damage for us it's gonna carry us all the way to the best trait ever unique <laughs> why why are you doing this to me you make it look like I have bad luck on trait rerolls, game. Please, I promise you it's better than this. Oh, we're back to where we started. Oh. I told you, gamblers always quit before their biggest wins. Ray, congratulations. I want to hear your voice right now. Hold on, let me go ahead and unmute you real quick, Ray. How do you feel about having a unique unit on your account? Yeah, I can't talk. It's yeah! <laughs> oh my gosh, and now the showcase isn't over because we got to go check out what unique Heathcliff can do. Let's go. Guys, that was a very expensive video. Please like this video. Um, I, oh yeah, I actually don't have any money left. <laughs> yep, that is it. The Ray is now the owner of a unique Heathcliff Admiral Ray. Wait, to you to roll my tank until we are at it? Um, okay, <laughs> yeah, how do you feel? <laughs> I feel great. You feel great. I'm so excited that we finally get a unique unit for you. And honestly, the unit looks pretty insane, not gonna lie. All right, you said you wanted to roll on your... Tangan. Uso? <laughs> Tangan? Okay, let's do it. Let's finish strong. Sniper is a good uh, trait for Tangan, but nowhere near as good as uh, Unique. All right, that's fine, that's fine. You know, Reaper, whatever. I That's the bane of my existence. We're just gonna finish this video strong right here. If I get another unique, I'm actually gonna cry because not even I'm that lucky on my own account. Except this is very expensive, so it's not really lucky. It's just a matter of uh, me being a really good friend um, who's gonna have to go to work tomorrow. No. You know, we're just gonna leave it at Superior 3. And then we'll just do one roll on Asuna and get Nimble 3. That's great. Guys, let's go check out what Unique Keyclip does. All right, and now we do the same thing. You guys don't understand how important this Unique was for Ray. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's at like 4,000 rerolls without a Unique unit. So I'm glad that I was finally able to change that for him. Uh, it's, it's pretty life-changing. On placement right here, he does 86. 
thousand damage every 7.4 seconds, guys. That is ginormous. Massive isn't even like a good enough word to describe how much damage that is. 86,000. His STA kind of does suck, honestly, but uh, that's not really gonna deter us from using him from now on. He is gonna have to get a good curse on him, like a SPA curse, so once he gets the time, he's gonna start grinding for those SPA curses, and he should be able to upgrade his uh, Heathcliff to a very, very, very strong unit. Anyways, quick little time lapse again. We'll farm our money, and then we'll max out Heathcliff to see what unique Heathcliff can do. I told you guys, this is gonna be pretty cool. I told you I was gonna get some cool stuff. All right, time lapse, go! Farms are all maxed out. Oshi's maxed out. Heathcliff with a max Oshi does 99,757 damage. SSS damage on him will get into over 100,000 damage on place and with a max Oshi, guys. That is insane. Let's start upgrading him. First upgrade already gets to 200,000 damage. Already at 200,000 damage. All right, let's do it again. Noble Gus, it's a circle. That's gonna be a little better for us. 7.4 SPA, doing 336,000 damage every 22.6 seconds. And then next upgrade, look at that. Honestly, this upgrade's pretty good too. The Ruler Punishment, upgrade it again and again. And well, with the Ruler Punishment upgrade, his SPA is, you know, at a decent number currently, and he's doing 800 thousand damage now guys getting unique on this unit is actually quite insane because of the fact that this unit is so Extensive you'll see how expensive he is look I can upgrade again for tempest rush. Oh my gosh 1.1 million damage every 8.2 seconds and he's not even maxed out yet one more upgrade after this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh This is actually stronger than Frieza guys Wow, 1.6 million damage every 8.2 seconds, guys. Of course, Unique is the best passive you can get on him, but if you were to get any other passive, I would get Godspeed. So 60 divided by 8.2 is 7.3 times 1596486 is 11.6 million damage per minute. Now, we're gonna apply ourselves our Brooks buff over here, so with Brooks, it should give us another, what, 15, 10% damage or something like that? So with that, he is going to be doing, I think 1.7 million or something like that, 1.8 almost. That's crazy to even say out loud. 1.7 to 1.8 million damage. Uh, 1.8 million damage for Brooks, guys. That's nearly 2 million damage per hit. If we cut his SPA in half, right, he's doing, Every 4.1 seconds, 750,000 damage. Or 900,000 damage for Dork Bluff. Let's go ahead and get Kisuke in the field right here and let's see what Kisuke Bluff can do for him as well. Uh, this should hit right here, I think. Upgrade, one, two, three, there we go. All right, and finally with the Kisuke Bluff, 7.4 second SPA. Final maths right here, 60 divided by 7.4 is 8.1 times 1.8 million damage is 15 million DPM. Yeah. 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 That's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoy it. Please watch it and like it and then watch it again because this is an expensive video, but it was worth it. I'll see you guys later. Reason thesis. Heathless OP with Unique. Bye.